Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Uh, you're quite lucky, you're not going to be able to see my ugly mug today because I've got the uh, office all set up for some other videos. And this just arrived in the post, so I thought I'd give you a quick look. Uh, I know you all like to look at the new hardware when it first arrives. Now obviously the Sandy Bridge motherboards are not going to be... Uh, and the Sandy Bridge CPUs are not going to be fully released until January. But I thought I'd give you a quick look around the board. And I'm not going to bore you with the packaging. Plus there's a lot of stuff on the packaging that uh, will break NDA. So I'm uh, just going to get the board straight out now and we can crack on. Right then, uh, I am in my light tent. <coughs> we'll have a quick look around all the accessories. This is a triple SLI bridge then you've got a normal SLI bridge there this is the uh, Bluetooth dongle for the ROG connect and you've got a crossfire bridge and some normal connections selection of stickers thermal probes don't let me see anyone using these please uh, ROG connect cable and then your yeah, manuals and then underneath here we've got a selection of cables the IO plate all the stuff you need to get your rig running really. Right, enough of the boring stuff. Let's crack on with the board. I'm going to take it straight out of the box. I'm not doing bad doing this one-handed. I'm sorry for the shaky video, but I have explained why. Right, there's your first look at the Maximus 4 Extreme. I'm going to go top to bottom with you. And if you want to see anything, you know, like any details, just pause it and I'll talk you through some of the specifics afterwards. Right then guys, let's talk about some of the specifics on the board. If we go around the back, you can see that we have all uh, USB 3s. Now this one, this one and this one are shared with the front panel and are um, all shared over a USB 3 hub. These two are native USB 3, so this one will get full speed no matter what. But these ones, if you, they all had USB 3 um, items attached, they would be sharing the bandwidth. And you can see that there is a USB 3 there. And a second one just there. And this, in quite a strange position, is the USB 3 front panel header. Why it's not on the other side of the board, I'll never know. Hopefully that will get changed later on on newer boards. But to me, that should be over there with a 24 pin. Seems a bit of a strange place to put it. All of the uh, fan headers are PWM, which obviously you can use normal 3 pin on, or the 4 pin PWMs on. And there are quite a few of them scattered all over the place. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four. That's my phone ringing in the background. Full length PCI Express slots. So you can have a dual card there, dual card in this one, and then a dual card in this one if you wanted. This is an open ended PCI Express 4. So uh, you could drop a full length. PCI Express in there if you wanted, where it's open ended, it will still fit. The uh, ROG logo does look like it's going to light up on this one. 
which is a common theme. You can see the power there. I'm not too sure on the heat sinks on these yet. Uh, I really liked the crystal design, uh, and I'm I'm not too sure with these yet. I'll give you a nice close up. But yeah, the uh, jury is out. More features. We've got a onboard uh, LED poster. Uh, this previous was like a little add-in that we used to click in the back. You've got all the um, points here that you can plug in your thermal monitors. Oh, they're like... Uh, like little wires and then you can put your thermal probes on anyway or your um not your thermal probes i do apologize uh, your multimeter you've got dip switches here for the pci express lanes this is really handy if you've got a multi-card setup and one of your graphics card dies because you can turn the lane off uh, and because for sake, if the graphics card dead it, it's dead you it might stop the system from posting properly um, with that you can switch the lane off and then fingers crossed if it is just the graphics card the system will then post so quite handy for fault finding and obviously you've got the uh, start and reset button there BIOS switch there for switching between BIOSes that's really handy as well something that I didn't mention on the back which I want to is that little header there is for the uh, Bluetooth module so that you can use the ROG Connect with Bluetooth via your iPhone or your um, Android phone if you've got one. And also there you've got the uh, uh, reset switch for the BIOS. Should you need it, the Asus is a pretty good unless you're really, really on the limits of your hardware. So, just a quick short video just to show you. One of the toys that you're going to get the full review of in January. Quite looking forward to working with this one. I've always liked the Asus products. So yeah, for now, uh, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan. Out.